What's up, Earth Signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And I am back with y'all weekend vibes, so let's see what's coming in for the weekend for Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. Past Life Connection. Ooh, oh, Lord. Prince Charming. Curly Wavy Hair. Unrequited love in reverse. Ooh, okay. Somebody could be realizing that y'all have like a past life connection. This can be somebody in your life that is evolving out of a trauma bond and they are coming towards you. Like maybe at the time when, when y'all had opportunity, the love was unrequited. And now this person is really feeling, they feeling something because they've been experiencing deja vu. So it's like the universe won't let this person forget about you. Okay. This person could have been leaving you on red in the past. Woke up and chose violence. Why? So this person may wake up and choose violence or maybe their partner did and that's where this trauma bond is coming to an end. Okay, damn, hit and give surface. So this person mad as hell because they've been getting clear audience messages, deja vu. Um, like they gifts are coming to the surface, so they realizing who you are. And I feel like this person might have not chose violence against anybody, but they could just be mad as hell. Like this person could be punching the air, like feeling mad that they created so much distance in between y'all because maybe now you walked away. Okay. Or I could be talking to the earth sign that is experiencing this. They feel like you the one that got away. Alright. They feel like they were set up to go towards this trauma bond rather than to come towards you. But again, they growing out of that. Don't answer the phone. Why is this here? Mad enough to start a riot. Didn't I tell y'all? This person pissed. Oh boy, because you're not answering the phone, so you might have them blocked. I feel like this person going through old text messages that they used to be kind of thinking like, hmm, what the fuck you on? You know, like, I don't know if you was expressing yourself to this person and they just wasn't responding, but I feel like they mad at themselves more than anybody because it's like they didn't see what was in front of them, so it's kind of like... This person mad and kind of punching the air, but it's really because they looking back on things that you said and that's finally starting to make sense to them now. This person is thinking about this now, but I feel like they gonna reapproach this situation in the springtime because maybe y'all not answering the phone. Maybe this person have faith that you will unblock them by springtime, but I feel like right now they know that they still got healing to do. Upon facing this realization, they still got shit that they need to get together in their life. Yeah, they could have been uh, dealing with a, a brunette that had pelvic inflammatory disease. I feel like this person is buying a new wardrobe because they want to look good for you. They could have been dealing with a Hispanic man or woman or that's what they are. Okay, this person is like, give me an opportunity to speak, but they coming off kind of entitled and maybe that's what y'all don't like. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, y'all. What is this dusty energy? Dusty with a big banana? <laughs> y'all, oh, my God. So, what? Is y'all looking at this person like they a, a, a pookie or something? It's like, yeah, you got some good D and all, but shit, yo ass. You giving very much pookie vibes because I'm getting dusty criminal activity and big banana energy. All right? Y'all might be going to some type of something where it's like raw talent involved, whether that's live music, poetry, you know, uh, even something like karaoke and something like that. But y'all might be going to go do something fun like that this weekend, painting with a twist, something like that. Okay, so why is this big banana energy dusty and criminal activity here? Okay, that's, that's where they, oh gosh. They went towards somebody that was white with red hair. Okay, and had them on some dusty pooky shit. For the streets. So they realizing that this white woman with red hair is for the streets. Okay. It's like they can't even blame that person because they like, I'm fucking dumb. Like, what is now this person trying to organize their priority? Y'all, I don't know what's going on, but I I ain't gonna lie. I already saw this shit, <laughs> but I ignored it. 
okay i literally ignored it and it keep like popping up to the surface so hopefully this is oh that could be why this person mad enough to start a riot and mad enough to choose violence because they don't went towards somebody that's Caucasian with red hair that's for the streets that had them, uh, I mean, it could even be like white collar crime. It don't have to be like straight up like armed robbery or nothing like that. But this person definitely had them breaking the law in some kind of way or whatever. I feel like this was exciting to them at first because it was kind of giving a Bonnie and Clyde type of vibe. Man, this person might as well go on head on. Like, I don't know what they think you gonna do with them after all of this. But they they like trying to dress everything up with new clothes and stuff, and that ain't gonna get it. Like this person, mm -hmm. that's why they they looking at you like the one that got away. Okay, and this is a good thing. Y'all divinely guided not to answer the phone. Why the hell is springtime even showing up? Cause uh why is springtime showing up? Message of love in reverse. Y'all ain't gonna answer then either. <laughs> so they gonna try to approach y'all in another couple months. And y'all like, no. Still not answering. Wanting to steal y'all ideas and pass them off as their own. So they could have, that could have been a criminal activity that they was doing. They could have been taking your copyrighted work. Copyrighted work. Copyrighted work. Now they want you not to be disappointed in them. But it's like, boy, we got bigger fish to fry. First of all... <laughs> You know, I don't know what you walking around with, but again, I don't like the fact that House in Virginia keeps surfacing. Cheat their way to the top is in reverse because they ain't get to the top. They just try to cheat. Okay, this could have happened two years. It's been happening for the past two years. You was generous to this person. Y'all could have been dating for six to nine months. They initials, first, middle, or last can be RSTUV. They could be an air sign. This person gave you absolutely nothing but fake love. And glamour spells in reverse. So they was glamouring you to be generous to them. And then they got with somebody that started cloning you. A fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. And then within three to six months into the connection. They realized that this person had a mental illness. They could have left this person alone. Through one to three months ago. And now they looking at the situation like they self-sabotage. Because they had a lot of joy, peace and positive energy around you okay don't call this number anymore because i won't be there for you like i was before that's what y'all thinking every time y'all don't answer the phone and this person feel like you tripping but really you're not because whatever this person mad at about how they got this person like just don't take that for all y'all that's what i do want to say yes it tried to come out i tucked it back in because i'm like no way in hell i'm about to put that over this whole collective of earth signs but I do feel like because it kept showing itself in the deck that that could be the reason why this person, for some of you, is mad enough to start a riot, that uh, they got a storm in their heart, they waking up choosing violence because they getting some test results that they don't appreciate. I mean, they more than don't appreciate, but, you know, it's like people be glorifying toxicity too damn much you know that's the thing and that's how people get themselves caught up in the situation thinking that 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 shit is always greener and that is that don't lead to greener pastures it uh leads to very dismal harvest three of pentacles in reverse yeah they feel like y'all just on two different paths now like you don't want to work with them they just feel like they getting karma after karma after karma like, you know, their physical appearance could be changing. This person could be losing weight. Their skin could be changing. It just could be a lot that this person's suffering from, you know. So, yeah, big banana energy with Dusty. You know, it's like you, just because you, whatever, well endowed, that don't mean that it's just exempt from diseases, you know. Three of Cups, yeah, this person could have been doing all kind of stuff. You know, it might not even been this person that gave them something if they got something, okay? It could have definitely been one of their friends because I'm getting at this person and it's crazy because it's a redhead woman looking down into a pearl. But it looked like she's crying into a crystal ball, don't it? She could have had a blind friend and a brunette friend that she let this person slide with. You get what I'm saying? And that could have been who it was. I wouldn't be surprised if that type of thing is a setup. Like she already knew her friend got something. If that's the story for you. Because for some of you, this person just simply pissed that they self-sabotaged. Okay? 
through this awakening, they realizing that you were supposed to be that Ace of Cups, they new love energy. Okay. Man. Now it's like whoever this is, okay, for those of you, for the small percentage of you where this person got themselves stuck with some type of disease, they gonna be an activist. They gonna raise awareness about it. So this is not gonna be a situation where this person is bitter and they want to hurt everybody else you know but they feel like they need you they really do it's like in this time they feel like they need you by their side like they feel like you would have been by their side in sickness and in health but in reality i feel like spirit is asking you to look at this from a different perspective it's saying when you give, you also receive. You being like, this person could have been being like resistant to change because maybe you were something different in their life. Okay. I feel like uh, a lot of you guys are going, going to forgive this person because that's just how y'all are. Y'all empresses. Y'all healers. So maybe y'all going to like help this person look for a way to like get they self together you know what i'm saying or just be a support system to this person that's too many sorry i feel like y'all mind might be already made up that y'all don't want to deal with this person romantically and then once this person tell you from their mouth whether they actually sick or not, I feel like that's going to make the determining factor. Like, well, okay, like, I completely get it and I can be there for you, you know. I mean, sometimes that stuff like, stuff like that happen to innocent people, you know what I'm saying? But this person constantly, not constantly, but they consciously chose somebody that they knew was like a bad girl. And it felt good to them. It was fun. It was like adrenaline inducing. Now this person be having nightmares. You know, it's like this risky behavior really got this person up in their feelings. They overly emotional. Somebody can be crying this weekend. That's why they want to apologize, apologize to you. They felt like, you know, in the past, your purity came off as like immaturity or naive energy but it's like they realize now that you're just a sweetheart you know and this person glorified the wrong type of energy and they realizing that okay so for some of you Tauruses can be coming towards y'all saying that or Taurus somebody can be coming towards you apologizing because I'm noticing the horns on this person they look like bull horns yeah So I feel like these two developed a very like negative bond through what they was doing with each other. Like I said, criminal activity, making fast money, living on the wild side. And now this person is like running away. I feel like they hauling ass like they felt like they should have did a long time ago. They might be communicating to you. This person might be crying when they call you. I don't know if they're going to actually express to you exactly what they're going through, but they may be crying when they apologize to you. Maybe this person also had to do some type of jail time as well, but I feel like they've been released. I'm here on bond for some of y'all, so maybe they're going back, but they feel like they got to make peace with you. They do. This, this could have been the type of person that really thought that they would, like... This one of those situations where this person thought that they was gone out your life forever, okay? So this was somebody that already knew that they eventually wanted to come back towards you. But maybe they felt like they wasn't done living their life and they wasn't done living their life and having certain fun that you could have been over already. Like, okay, that shit played out to me. Like, I just want a peaceful life and... <clears throat> You know, I just want to, you know, have good, you know, good fun that don't involve me getting in trouble or just being reckless with my energy. And it's like this person was having a good time. Like this person felt like a kid again. Uh, I feel like they felt like a kid with both of y'all, but for different reasons. Like they felt like a wholesome, good kid with you. And they felt like 
somebody mischievous with them. And I do feel like, you know, again, it was like, it's kind of like I'm hearing, um, I love doing bad shit with you, you know? So that's kind of how this person felt. Like they both would just be like, I don't know what they would do, but it's like just the smallest thing. Like if they went into a store and shoplifted, you know what I'm saying? Just out of pure fun, not no shit they need, not something they ain't got money for, but just doing that shit, just shoplifting just to run to the car get an adrenaline rush and just like i love doing bad shit with you like that's the scene that spirit is kind of showing me here let's see y'all yeah it's like y'all could have been waiting for an apology for a minute so for some of y'all y'all already expecting this person to, to spin a block Ooh, and they thought they they thought you would always wait for them okay so if y'all not waiting on them that's what they thought I'm getting this energy where y'all kind of like in this, like y'all logic is kind of like you can tell somebody character by what they entertain. You know, that's kind of the energy that y'all giving. It's kind of like, you know, your character is not where I would need it to be to be able to entertain you because like this is the lifestyle that you chose. So y'all looking at that, y'all looking at this person's character from their choices you know, and that don't mean that y'all gonna just dismiss this person or be like, that's what you get or none of that. It's just that for you, you need somebody with a stronger character. And that's one thing that you know you want. Okay, King of Cups in reverse. Y'all, recycle ding ding. I'm telling y'all, for some of you, this person is, and then I say Taurus, y'all, I'm telling you, I don't know. Rubber ducky. No glove, no love. Recycle peen. Yup. This person can be a Taurus or Taurus you hearing this news. Love you to the moon and back. They are like, I mean, to the moon and back. Like this person was planning on going to go live their life. So they oats and did come been back. It's like, I always love you, but I got some things that I want to get off my bucket list. You know, I got a couple of on the look. You know what I'm saying? That type of energy. Like, you know, yeah, I got people that I'm interested in. Things I want to do. Places I want to go. You know, dares that I want to fulfill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person wanted to do daring shit in life before they would settle down and be with you. And I feel like that's why they mad. Because this is impeding them being able to... This is impeding a union. This person almost feel like you're going to be happy about this. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's what they think or if y'all are. Like, if y'all are laughing about that. Yeah. Now it's like this person want to come back into your life and stick around. Yeah, so this person going to have to, like, this person... They researching like hell. They hoping it's some type of Dr. Sabi's diet or something or herbs or lifestyle that they can live. Maybe that'll get this person's numbers extremely low or whatever. I don't know, but <clears throat> like, I don't know, but that's what they doing. I'm seeing this person like trying to educate themselves because that's all they can do for a lot of you. Eight of Wands. Yeah. You not... Okay, so here's the revelation that you are gaining from this. You know, you being this strong, independent woman, you kind of figured that you was being guided to be independent and move forward for a reason. And now with this person communicating, you realizing why you was being let, guided away from this person. This person is going to say something during your conversation to let you know that they've been keeping an eye on you the whole time. The best kind of day is in reverse. Like this person had the worst kind of day because they finding out bad news here, you know. And it, I feel like, again, they're going to be they gonna be seeking your comfort and compassion, okay. This person thought that you was going to wait for them because they are part of your north node in your akashic records like it's literally written this person is in your akashic records and they just thought well 
Anaheim, I can wait as long as I want. I can get as much out of my system as I want before I go back to them. But now, it's like this person is seeing that that's a grave mistake. They can't rest. They got insomnia. Like this person's eyes may be blood shock. They just up thinking, you know. Like I said, researching, looking at your pictures on Instagram. Looking at just how beautiful you are, still living your life, still healthy. This person could have even got into some type of bisexual lifestyle or the person that they was entertaining, like I said, was like allowing this person to be with them and their friends. So maybe you know they were bisexual. Okay. But yeah, I feel like this person gonna want to meet for coffee. I don't know if that's gonna happen this weekend or a little after the weekend, but they want to meet for coffee. So they gonna like respectfully ask to meet you in a in a public place you know but i do feel like upon them like asking or inviting you that's gonna be when the crying is taking place so maybe this person gonna try to hold their shit together while y'all out in public and they talking to you but whoo i don't know it's like this person life feel like it's falling apart that's what they feel like you know but they trying to have some hope though that's what i'm saying they trying to have some hope that it's something that it's a cure. Yeah, this person followed the crowd. Okay. You guys have emotional and intellectual balance here is what I'm getting. They may come through bringing you roses or pink flowers. They just feel like you're a very wise individual. Yeah. Damn. So, it's like, that's what they want you to do. It's like, they want you to be by their side and spread awareness and you know, uh, spread wisdom about the situation. They feel like you just went in the right direction by keeping your energy pure here. This person may have a son that they didn't have the last time you saw them, is what I'm getting. Heavy mermaid energy. Okay. I'm getting like, say a St. Michael's prayer for this person. Yeah, I'm getting heavy on the rose energy and heavy on the rose energy and pink energy. So they might be giving you uh, pink roses, okay? Maybe they know. Maybe, maybe some of y'all favorite color is pink and they know that. I keep getting for almost every single, um, every single element that y'all might get. Like, but for, I'm getting first snow for other people, but for y'all, I'm getting like a double storm warning snowstorm warning for you guys this weekend yes beauty and grace like this person is realizing your beauty and grace energy like maybe y'all just classy and they feel like they missed out on that okay yeah this person might actually have a, a new baby out here too so they really feel like they ruined their life they may have felt like they was meant to have a child for you or like it's a spirit child waiting in the ethers for y'all maybe that could have been a sign that they got spiritually you know what is this princess and a frog so yeah giving very much beauty and a beast vibes like this person just feel like they don't deserve y'all okay i'm getting pig energy which is like fertility and prosperity yeah y'all this person may have one or two kids if they got two kids they very close in age or they had a child and they was expecting to come back and be able to have one with you as well but now it's just like you know basically they hoping that you support them enough and you be this umbrella for them because i saw this through the thing but like like basically on that rihanna tip like you could stand under my umbrella like i'll I will shield you, I'll protect you, I'll be that friend that don't judge you, or whatever the case is, and maybe y'all will be that for them. I'm not going to speak for y'all when it comes down to that, because, again, everybody needs support, and I feel like this person is truly remorseful for trying to delay something from coming together while they went off and had what they thought was fun, but that shit just not, the fun ain't fun in no more, it's just not, okay, so... Say a St. Michael prayer for this person. Light a white candle. And, you know, let this person figure their shit out. And, and support them how you see fit, okay? All right. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.